Donna E. Mori HM for men is kind of a contradiction in terms because it's a fresh gourmand and fresh and gourmand are two genres that don't normally appear in the same bottle. If you have a fresh fragrance, usually it's flying solo like Tom Ford Grey Vetiver or Christian Dior Eau Sauvage or Isimiyaki Lodice Pour Homme. And if there's a gourmand, it's usually just a full-on gourmand like Terry Mouglet Angel for Men or Givenchy Play Intense or Fresh Cannabis Santal. So for the two to be together in one bottle is a little bit crazy. And what's even crazier about Hana Imori HM is that it works. It kind of works out. It's reckless, it's a little ambitious, but it's there. So I have the Eau de Toilette version. It also comes in the Eau de Parfum. And the um, thing that's so bonkers about HM is that it's fresh, it's fruity, it's sweet, it's woody, it's an oriental, it's all of these things, all of these flavors in one bottle. And when you first sm spray it, um, you are just completely assaulted by uh, how fresh it is. It's very lemony. Um, you pick up on uh, the lavender and um, just really quickly it goes into um, just a, a burst of florals. It's just a whole bouquet in there. There's roses, there's um, lily of the valley, there's, um, uh, there's jasmine in there and um, the thing is very full and it starts to really warm up on your skin and you start to pick up on the cedar wood. You get that kind of, you know, very woody, um, uh, kind of peppery, spicy uh, cedariness in there. And then um, just right in there as well, just, just like a whole big old Dagwood from Blondie sandwich, you get the chocolate and vanilla and there's amber. And um, it uh, seems like something that should just be a big whoa that's way too much this is a terrible error back away from that bottle but HM is actually something that's sort of it's so crazy that it's fun it's very playful uh, I prefer the Eau de Toilette to the Eau de Parfum I've worn them both and I find that the Eau de Parfum is very um, it's thicker it's sweeter um, it just is, you know, already it's really busy in there. There's a lot of traffic. There's a lot of ingredients trying to get their face time. So I think that it's handled better in the Eau de Toilette. It's a little more refined uh, and it's sheerer. So that's also, I, hats off to the crazy chemists over at Hana Imori because um, the, I don't know how they make all that happen, but it, the whole thing is very well calibrated. Um, in the Eau de Parfum, strangely, the lemon seems to be more predominant, like they make that work. They make that last a little longer. I find the whole fragrance, um, like I said, very playful. It's not like a, um, it's not like a, you know, I'm a serious guy. Um, you know, I'm a, a businessman. It's not that kind of thing. I think it's definitely like a, a clubby fragrance and would work really well um, in hot, sweaty nightclubs. That lemon just really cuts through the heat. And then the ummy numminess of the, the sweet factor and, and the cedarwood really assists you in those getting to know you chat up moments. I think it'll earn you some, mm, you smell good points there. So that's what I think about Hana Imori HM. What do some of the other YouTube fragrance reviewers think about it? Well, Robes08, uh, he says that um, he finds it a good starter gourmand. And I think that's a great way of putting it. I, I agree with him. Um, he also thinks that it's good for younger noses, for teenagers. Um, and I tend to agree with that as well. He says that he doesn't really um, smell the chocolate as much as feel it. I like the idea. Feel that chocolate. And um, for him, the whole star of HM is the dry down. He, he loves the dry down. And that's a good point because it really, um, once it gets past that, you know, the, the light, lilting, citrusy open, it does have a lot of depth to it and it lasts a long time. Um, Cutlass Supreme SL uh, is really taken with the opening. He thinks it reminds him of Lemonhead's candy. And uh, he especially enjoys the transition from that candy opening to the deeper or oriental notes. 
and um, he thinks that it, it's quite a, a sexy fragrance. Guinea 54 doesn't think that it, um, he do, it doesn't remind him of Lemonhead's candy, the opening. It reminds him of Trix cereal. So um, that, that's what he's working with, is the, the Trix cereal. And he, he also wasn't so convinced about HM to begin with. He thought that it was a little too pungent. Um, uh, and his favorite way to experience it is to just catch accidental whiffs of it <laughs> off of himself. And the thing that cracked me up about Guinea54's review is that he, he does the whole review with a lit cigarette in his hand. So he's smelling his wrist and he's got this lit cigarette. So what I'm getting out of that is um, HM, you can even smell it over cigarette smoke. So take what you will from that. So um, if you want to check out uh, their reviews, and you should, I've got the links to all of them in the uh, description box below. So that's what they think about Hanae Mori HM. That's what I think about it. But what do you think about it? Do you think that it's lemon heady or lady killer e? <laughs> Let me know in the comment section below. I'm Katie Puckrick, and I smell. Number five.